uh, one of the guys is going to be getting a hydraulic crimper and doing some of the crimps to the uh, AC cable coming into the uh, secondary protection board, which is on your left hand side. So what we have here is 185 mil squared aluminium. Aluminium is a lot lighter and more easy to bend, but it doesn't have the same conductivity as copper. Now this is pretty thick stuff. And what we have here is a special lug that allows you to join the aluminium cable um, to the uh, copper, copper lug. So there's the actual lugger. The lug goes in here, cable goes in the other side, press the button, off you go. So Ben's just preparing the hydraulic crimper to deal with this um, big ass aluminium cable. So you can see now that Ben's testing the hydraulic crimper and it's moving nice and slowly because you wouldn't want one of these things moving quickly. <laughs> So that's quick enough. Yeah, that's real quick. These are specially designed for aluminium, aluminium to copper. Yes. And hence you can see the copper, and then I don't know what this is made out of. Yeah, that's, uh, that's aluminium in that. Oh, it is aluminium, yeah. They're all like gel filled. So these are gel filled? Grease filled. Ah, uh, so that's a thermal, like maybe a thermal paste or whatever yeah. it is yeah. for better conductivity. Ben's just removing some heat shrink and um, cutting the, the cable tie. There's the heat shrink, so what happens, it slides over the cable and then a heat gun, gas torch or an electric heat gun is applied and then this shrinks and compresses and covers the, the joints. So Ben's gone for the shifter, I'm doing the bolts. It's a really crucial part of uh, a connection on the AC side. So he's got the actual lug, the special aluminium to copper lug. He's bending the um, aluminium cable down into position. Basically, as Ben said, he'll be heat shrinking completely, including the bolt. Um, so to there and then over the bolt. Yeah. Yep. Wow. 